Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Civilization VI, the new Frontier Pass uh, expansion, I guess, if you will. Um, we are going to be playing today as Babylon. Uh, technically, Gaul would have been next in line if I was going in order of the when the civilizations were released within the uh, new Frontier Pass, you know, kind of release schedule. But we just finished a domination game with Byzantium. I won't tell you how that ended in case you haven't seen it yet. Uh, we've also recently finished a culture game uh, not too long ago as well. Uh, we did a domination game with uh, what, Columbia, Grand Columbia, I think, as well. So we've done a lot of domination type stuff. We did a culture thing, like I said. Um, so I wanted to do something a little different, and so it felt like a good time to, to go back to a science game. We haven't done science since the Mayans. Uh, plus, science with Babylon is going to be very, very unique. We definitely will do Gaul still. Don't get me wrong. In fact, it'll probably be right after this unless the next civilization just looks really awesome. Um, because I think the next civilization will come out before I finish this game. Uh, but uh, we definitely will go back to Gaul. I promise you I really want to play Gaul. But I kind of want to give a break of the domination stuff for, for at least one series. And we'll go back to it. Um, so here we go. Here is uh, Babylon. Uh, we are actually going to be playing on... I should have showed you the... the game season stuff like that i apologize but uh we're gonna be playing on that where is it here we go um standard game speed uh standard size map uh it doesn't say here does it no okay uh we are paying on the tilted axis map I i've never played on this one before and it felt like it might be a decent one to try out and see what it's about um and i wanted to save some of the other other maps for like more domination focused things where in this game since it's science it's okay if like somehow we're split from the other people or for any reason or anything like that. So I, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know what to expect. The only thing I was afraid of was that we would jump in and it would be like polar ice caps and stuff like that and something weird. But it, obviously there's plenty of green here, so that is not the case. So I don't know what this map has to offer us. We'll find out as we get into it. But that is the map we're playing on is the tilted access map, uh, which supposedly flips the poles or something weird. I don't remember exactly how it works. Um, other than that... Obviously, deity. Uh, oh yeah, let's jump into what what's got Babylon got going for him. Uh, here is his bonuses. Uh, his first one is called Ninu Ilu Serum. Uh, when each specialty district type, except the government plaza, is constructed for the first time, uh, he receives the lowest production cost building that can currently be constructed in that district. Uh, he also receives an envoy when any other district is constructed for the first time. So basically, if we build districts, any districts for the first time, we get something cool from them. I mean. Really, that's it in a nutshell. Um, most of, a lot of the districts are going to be starting out in our capital, which means our capital is going to get some easy, early freebie production type stuff from uh, some free buildings and stuff like that, which is awesome. Uh, Inum, Anu, Inuma Anu Enlil. This is the big one. This is the gimmick of Babylon. Eurekas provide all of the science for technologies, not just 50%, not just 60%. Hello, China. Uh, all of the science for technologies. Uh, however, you get minus 50% science per turn. That doesn't mean you're not producing any science. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I've seen some civilizations get, you know, a thousand plus science by the end of the game, which means we're still producing a decent amount of science. But the whole point of that minus 50% science per turn is that that's not how we're getting our technology. That's, that's not the point. Like That minus 50% science per turn might just be to go get research that one technology that we're just never going to get the Eureka for. But that's about it. Like, we really want to focus on getting Eurekas, which is building things and discovering things and stuff like that. So Eurekas is what it's going to be all about, which I'm excited about because I love Eurekas. I do Eurekas all the time. Um, and so this is going to be a fun, fun playthrough for me in that regard. Uh, his military unit is Sabum Kibitum. Uh, it's a unique ancient era melee unit. It doesn't replace anything. It's just a just an extra melee unit that gets plus 17 combat strength against heavy and light cavalry promotion class units. So kind of like an anti-cavalry but possibly better uh and this unit has three movement which is pretty big and three sight which means it's probably gonna be a really good scout replacement we might not bother with scouts i know we won't necessarily get the scout uh promotion tree if we don't build scouts but how often do we get really get promotions on our scouts anyway to be fair uh, and then we have palgum it's a building unique to babylon it doesn't actually say where it's built is it in the city center maybe uh plus one housing and plus two production uh which is awesome Freshwater tiles receive plus one food. City must be adjacent to a river. So we want to build as many cities next to rivers as possible. It doesn't say what it is. It looks like it might be a replacement for um, 
the windmill or the water mill. Let's say Babylon. Yeah, replace the water mill. It didn't say it in that write up, but I assumed it did based on the bonuses. So water mill normally gives one food, one production. This gives two production, one housing, but it also gives food from the uh, freshwater tiles, which is awesome. So it's still going to get some food from the water mill. Um, it's a little bit different flavor though. This one gives uh, bonus resources improved by farms, whereas this one just gives freshwater tiles receive plus one food. So it's a little bit different flavor, but the same type of thing. Plus it gives a housing and stuff like that, which is awesome. So we want to be next to rivers. We're already next to a river here. We could move down coastal. There is something to be said for settling on a luxury resource. I don't usually settle on luxury resources, to be honest, um, because I like developing them and get stuff like that. But if you settle on a luxury resource, you get the bonus from that luxury resource right away. And you don't have to wait for the research and stuff like that. You start getting that benefit right away. That being said, this is a four food, one production tile. I would feel really silly, I think, settling on top of a four food, one production tile. That's an amazing tile to start off with. So I think what we're going to do is, despite the fact that it's floodplains and we're going to have to be careful, I think we're going to move up one spot and settle here so that we can then work that four production, four, four food, one production tile right away. And I think that will be our goal. Uh, before I do that, though, I will go ahead and move this dinky little warrior. I'm actually surprised we get a warrior and not our unique ancient era unit. Uh, this surprises me a bit, to be fair. But uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll come up here and we'll build a city there. And there's Babylon. All right. Like I said, we want Eurekas. Eurekas, Eurekas, Eurekas. So we're going to just go through these top three right here and just get them. Right? We're not even going to worry about um, like what's around, which one to go for first. I think we'll go for this one first just because, uh, who knows, maybe we get the Great Bath or something like that. Uh, although the stone quarry, stuff like that would be useful as well. We'll, we'll just start somewhere. I don't know if it really matters too much. We're just going to start somewhere and start working our way that way. Um, okay, I definitely want to start getting uh, uh, some sort of scout type unit. That's usually my first go-to is to get some dis exploration out. Uh, we're going to do that with our awesome Sabum Kabitum, which is only three melee strength, you know, by itself, less than a warrior. Uh, so even just going up against just any units, it's going to be pretty decent. Uh, but then, of course, if it's going against cavalry units, it's going to be even better. So go ahead and build one of those. Um, I do want to make sure that we are working this tile. We'll go ahead and lock that in because that is huge. It's going to get us uh, growth really, really quickly. City near Floodable River already gets us a point there. There's another river up here. It's possibly a good second city spot somewhere up that way. Although, again, settling next to rivers is going to mean lots of potential for um, flooding. So we're going to want to deal with that pretty quickly. Hello, Barbarian. What did that give us? Just, just one error score? Is that all we got from that? Oh, okay. Um, or no, did we get a population? I think we got a population, maybe. I can't tell. I can't remember what our population was before we took that. Uh, what you know? What tile do we want to work now? No, I mean the two twos. Fine, that's that's perfectly acceptable. Um, yeah, we'll come up here and start whittling down this guy. Honza, very nice. It's always good to meet an early city state. Hunza gives us trade routes generate plus one gold for every five tiles they travel. So the further away that it is, uh, the more gold we're going to get, which is awesome. Now, early on in the game, that's not super amazing, but it does become something cool eventually. I kind of want to wait to see if these guys attack first and see if I can finish them off and get credit for the, uh, the, the finisher move. There we go. That's exactly what I was hoping to happen. Uh, still not quite enough. It's possible they might still attack. We'll find out. But I think it's worth waiting one more turn and see if we can, like I said, get the finisher. There we go. We should be able to get it for sure now. There's our four error score just from building our unique unit right away. There's that. Military tradition. That actually should get us really close to a early game 
Uh, well, we're going to get normal age pretty quickly, but we might even be able to push towards that first early game golden age. All right, Saboom Kabutum, uh, how about you start working your way up this way, and we'll see what else is out there. All righty. Uh, now, since we got some early build, uh, early um, population or some population very quickly, let's go and get us a settler right away. I want to start settling on some of these rivers, make sure we don't lose those river spots. Honestly, I'm just going to heal up right where you're at. But as I headed into oh, that's awesome. Fjordland, that, that is awesome to get an early... Um, in fact, to get astrology right away. There's our first Eureka. That is cool. That is really cool. This can be a lot of fun. Sometimes when you discover these, right, you get Eurekas, don't you? Does that just give us a freak technology? I'm assuming... Thousands have lived without love. Oh, uh, we just got your irrigation. Get irrigation astrology before you even finish pottery. You gotta love it. That is awesome. How much do we need to buy a builder? 200. I'd like to get a builder relatively quickly. That actually opens up our new building as well. And we definitely want to settle up near here because of the culture gains and stuff like that. Possibly on this desert tile so we can go ahead and work this, work all this stuff around there. I mean, the desert tiles themselves aren't great, but I think they'll be okay. A lot of mountains here, so it's going to be very defensive as well. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. We're not going to use recon units anyway. Uh, and we'll grab the faith and gold. Getting early pantheon would be pretty useful. Start working a craftsmanship. Uh, hopefully we get a builder up here soon. It's a lake. Is this the ocean? Coast. It says coast. Coast doesn't. Coast can still be lake, right? Can't, can't you have coastal lake tiles? Or is it like. No, lake is a lake. Okay, so never mind. So this is the ocean. A little volcano. Some decent tiles up here, too. It would be a good place for another city. Like I said, if we put one here. Um. Plains right there, actually. Settling on the plains, we get us some early production. Oh, we can't settle there. It's too close. Yeah, I think we settle there. And then one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Probably right there, maybe. Something like that. There's kind of a couple early cities that I'm thinking. Uh, and then we might even actually be able to stick one over here, right? One, two, three, four, like over here maybe. One, two, three, four, something like that. Just kind of keep all these cities near this near the near the right next to the river and stuff. Something something along those lines. Should be pretty useful. I can get a river over here by this lake and this jade and stuff. That'd be awesome. Uh, again, I don't know what that gave. I guess that just gave us an envoy. I wish it would tell us exactly what it gave us, but it's all right. Train a heavy chariot. Do I want to send this to you right now? Actually, you know what? I don't even think I need to send this to you right now. We'll hold off a little bit. There's another city-state. Gotta love the science. That's awesome. Considering we get half of that. <laughs> uh, what is your thing? Mahavi Mahavihara improvements. Plus two science, which doesn't help us that much, but it's still something. Plus one housing. That's pretty awesome. Plus one faith for each adjacent holy site district. That's pretty cool. And plus one science for each adjacent campus district. I mean, again, science is not useless to us. 
It's just slower. So we're still gonna we're gonna, still gonna supplement stuff with science. Just most of our research is gonna come from Eureka's. I haven't quite figured out this map yet. What the, what's the tilted axis thing? No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if. All right, again, we're going to just keep going on these ones that we can't get boosted anyway. Oh, hello, mountains. I think we're going to go here first. And it's not the most amazing city right away, but uh, I'm just going to get some early gold. I mean, this early food right here is going to be useful. Not a lot of production, to be fair, but I think in the long run we'll be okay. It's going to be able to hook up this T. It's going to be able to cover a lot of the tiles of this thing right here. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, and I think it's just a good jumping off spot. It's just it's just a good spot next next to us. All right. Um, I mean, kind of incentivized to, to build the Palgum. Holy site could also be useful. Another military unit could also be useful. Builder. We're going to be able to get a builder here in, what, five turns anyway? Right about five turns, maybe? So it's about the same amount of time. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and build the Polygon. Get some housing, get some production, all that jazz. All right, looks like this is, ah, uh, they might continue down here. We'll, we'll, we'll keep moving the warrior down this way. All right, I'm going to assume that you're going to be smart and uh, I'll unlock these for now. Hello, Slinger. I think this finishes off over here. I mean, this city up here might be slightly better, right? In the long run. It's not like anybody can get to this one to steal it. You know what? I am. It's, we didn't lose hardly any movement. So I actually think it is okay for us to move up here. We'll get us some gold, get us some food, get us slightly more production. Uh, and I think that's just going to be a better spot to land. We will fill in the city at some point, for sure. A little barbarian encampment. All right, so that's what I thought. I just wanted to get it all, get a full picture though. Um, I might send this warrior back home. He's really slow. You never know when somebody, when a barbarian encampment might pop up next to us or something crazy. We have to deal with the floods. That is definitely going to be a thing that's going to... I mean, it's both good and bad. Obviously, we do get fertilized land, which is awesome. But it is going to start taking some dings out of the stuff and, and get rid of pill you know, pillage tiles, improvements, stuff like that. So really making a beeline towards uh, the dams and stuff like that will be pretty critical for us, I think. Um, Honestly, I think just starting with the Palgum right away. Just getting some early, early production from here. Uh, but on that note, I do think, uh, we'll start, ah, actually I could have bought a builder last turn. That's, that's all right. Yeah. We'll start with the food and go ahead and buy a builder. It's probably okay that I didn't buy it earlier because it was going to get destroyed anyway because of the floods. In fact, I probably want to, I say that. I do want to hold on to a uh, builder charge, but we really need the three tiles to improve, don't we?
Oh, hello, Barbarian Post. Oh, that's why we brought the warrior back over here. I'm about to get amenities, so I'm not too worried about that. I am fond of pigs. I am fond of pigs. Completed construction Dogs already. Look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs, the four building blocks of the universe. What's the Eureka for construction? Oh, it's the watermill, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's so huge. Getting that this early. Look at it. This this is Babylon right here, guys. This is this is the craziness of Babylon. We have construction like already. That is insane. We can already build lumber mills. Okay. That is crazy. In fact, building a lumber mill will also get us a Where is it? Doesn't lumber mill get us something? Or is it in the other tree? It might be in the other tree, I don't remember. Like we could build three mines, get industrial zones, we could get three archers, get crossbowmen right away. I mean, this guy is going to be insane. Absolutely insane. Alright, let's go ahead and get mining. Because again, we're just gonna hold off on the other ones. I do need to build a city on the coast to get that boost though. Um Honestly, I'm kinda tempted to start working towards the Great Bath. Focus production. Still 15 turns though. Like what else would I want to build? I mean obviously another settler would be amazing. But it'd be cool to get an early early wonder. And floodplain tiles along the river containing the bath, which does cover okay, it doesn't cover as much as I thought it would. It only covers these. But it covers some stuff, which is cool. I don't know. Let's try it. Why not? What do we got to lose? Some some turns. <laughs> this is literally exactly what we got to lose. Build a lumber mill right away. Uh, not on the rainforest, though. We'd have to build it up here, wouldn't we? But still, that'll be some good production. Writing is easy. And there's writing. Oh, uh, so crazy. I don't. This is so crazy. I have to deal with some barbarians here soon, unfortunately. Which is fine. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, there was one. Okay, I, I just didn't see it. We can already build... Oh, we already got a Renaissance era thing. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, we're close. We're close to a Golden Age. I mean, an early... Uh, sometimes I like to do Dark Age first first phase and then Heroic Age after that, but hey, I'm not going to complain about an early, early Golden Age if we can get it. It's a very interesting map so far. I mean, it feels very much all to ourselves type of thing, which is crazy. Kind of feel like I need to heal you up because the scout coming in is not scary, but a little worrisome. All right. Um, five turns until I get quarry, which I would like to get. Talk of this up because this is a really strong tile as well. Yeah, I think we can wait five turns on that, maybe. Or I could just hook up the farm and be done with it. Or can I consume the stone? Because like consuming this stone over here wouldn't be too bad because it's really not that great. Let's come over there to check that stone out real quick. Although that would use up one of my builds. 
which is another thing to think about. No, I think we'll just take the farm. Because it's going to give me the boost for this. It's going to give me the boost for craftsmanship. And I think there's there's other bonuses of, of doing that. That's I think there's... I think that's a good move. 25 faith. We're 6 faith away. 7 turns away from that. I'm hold off on you for a second. Uh, I guess I'll start circling down here for now. See what's down this way. So three more points and we got a golden age. If we can get this uh, barbarian encampment, we should be okay. Got to be a little harder with this guy, but not impossible. My assumption is he'll swap here, but I this is a hill, so he won't be able to attack me. Uh, it's possible the scout could attack me, though, and kill me if I'm not careful. If I can survive, I can get a promotion. Okay, I was not expecting this one to be the one that had the exclamation point. I assumed that was this guy up here. So we are going to start getting some guys popping out here. It's 140 for one of these sub-booms, which we might want to pop out here in a minute. Or I can get a slinger for the same price, which isn't a bad idea either. Surprised we haven't found another continent. Alright, I think we sack the warrior just to get rid of this thing. At this point. Because if I move away, he's dead anyway. Let's sack the warrior, get rid of that. Gets us the guaranteed golden age. A warrior for a golden age... I think I can live with that. Plus, it gets rid of this thing, pop any more units out. He still got some warriors out. Uh, so, you know, it's it's something, but not the end of the world. In fact, we're only two gold away from being able to buy us another unit, which we probably will here in just a second. Most likely a slinger, because if we can kill some units with a slinger, we'll get that Eureka. Uh, I do want to swap over here to military tradition, though. Okay, so that's expected. Not a problem. Oh, uh, we ran out of Eurekas. Uh, what is our least likely Eureka here? None. Like, we're going to get all of these, most likely. So we literally have to spend some time on something that we don't care about. <laughs> In a weird way, I kind of want to spend time over here because... Uh, I will feel like I've wasted... I mean, it's, it's of course I'm wasting it. Uh, this is probably least likely, to be fair. We're not going to be building a city on the coast right away because we're trying to stay near the rivers. So we'll probably go ahead and just put some points into that because um, the other ones are highly likely. And we can go ahead and buy us a unit, which will be a slinger in the hopes that we can kill a unit with a slinger and get that Eureka. Well, I have to be careful here and not get him killed. If I get up on this hill, I'll feel pretty safe. Because I'll be able to get anything before it gets across here. Alright, this is going to be interesting. What kind of pantheon do we go with? I mean, River Goddess... I mean, would be cool because we, you know, we're going to be near... are going to be near rivers, but... Are we going to be building holy sites? Probably not. Wonder stuff is pretty cool. Divine spark, it can be useful. Uh, desert, oh, desert floodplains, that's that's not super useful to us. Marsh, I mean, there's a couple marshes out there, but not, not a ton. I mean, there's a few, to be fair. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. That's three. That's about all I see, though. I'm sure there's some somewhere, but I'm only seeing those three at the moment. Um... Fishing boats, not super relevant. Pastures, not relevant. Camps, not relevant. 
quarries. We do have a lot of quarries, so it would give us some faith. Well, I say we have a lot of quarries. We have three in this initial city, although we kind of think about consuming one of those, so maybe a less relevant. Uh, mines, bonus luxuries. I don't see any luxuries, and we don't know about bonuses yet. Um, uh, improved strategic resources. We don't know about those yet. Plantations. Is this a plantation, right? Yeah. So that gives us some culture from that, but that's all there is at the moment. Honestly, do we have the free settler? Uh, we have the free builder. Plus two faith from geothermal fissures, not relevant. Production in cities without a specialty district. I mean, that could help us spread out some of the specialty districts a little bit. But honestly, I think the free builder is probably okay. I would take the free settler if it was here, but it's not. So we'll go with this one. We're advancing so quickly, I'm going to be able to hook up some new t tiles pretty, pretty readily anyway. Uh, I think these two stones we keep for now. This one, like I said, I might consume. Yet in this captious and intenable sieve, I still pour in the waters of my love and lack not to lose still. Thus, Indian-like, religious in mine error, I adore the sun that looks upon his worshipper, but knows of him no more. There we go. I think that's the first time I've ever built a great bath, actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, and what was it again? It, uh... Okay. Uh, now immune to flood damage. The food and production bonuses from flooding drop by 50%. Oh, okay. So we don't have damage, get the damage, but we do, we still get skill, do still get the bonus from flooding. But it's half as much, which is okay. Floodplains tiles belonging to the city gain plus one faith for each time the flood damage. Oh, it's, it's mitigated. So that's going to be pretty cool. Which isn't a lot. And maybe this would have been better up here somewhere. But if we get a couple of these tiles right here. Um, you know, that's a few tiles that are going to have some flood stuff associated with them. That's not too bad. And this is the one that we're on, which I don't know. If, I guess that gets faith too, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's not going to be quite enough to kill it. Um, and I really don't want this guy to take the kill. I want to sit on it for a minute. I hope that guy doesn't take the kill. I hope he attacks me again, but we'll see. All right, so there's that. Uh, I do want another settler pretty quickly here, though. Each of us is carving a stone. There's masonry. There we go. Now we can harvest the stone. I'm surprised we need more amenities. Although I guess we're already up to six pop. That's why. Okay, good. I was hoping he would attack me and not die. Well, I guess it didn't matter if he died or not. If he attacked me and died, I think it counts, right? So that would have been fine, actually. But no. Get this kill. May the There's archery. I'm also and bronze working. A oh, because of the three barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the research is so... This is so insane. This is literally... This is crazy. Uh, I do want to get rid of the stone, because I don't think we're going to need it. It helps finish off the settler a little bit, at least. Move you back one and then get you up to grade to an archer. And then we'll go from there. Um No, we'll probably come hook up the stone. It's gonna be a stronger tile. Tornadoes!
It's going to heal you up. Let them advance on us first. If they want to. Uh, since there's barbarians over this way, we will move this city up to this side of things. Um, I'm going to move to here for now. Let's see, do I, do I like this other city spot that you suggested? It does let me work a three food, one production tile right away, right? So that could make the difference. I mean, otherwise, it's virtually identical. Yeah, why not? I'm okay with that. All right. Um, walls does give us another bonus. Monument does not, right? I don't think so. Building a, a district does. Um, arguably, we don't need to build a campus, so we could build a holy site. So we could have taken that thing, to be fair. Building a couple more archers gets us something else, which gets us crossbowmen, which would be huge. Um, let's knock out a couple more archers. Getting crossbowmen early, early, early is crazy OP. I just realized the time. Man, I'm having fun already. Uh, we're going to put a cut in there. Um, yeah, new, brand new series. I'm looking forward to this. This is, this is already crazy. We're already getting some technologies that are just insane. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting more and more of them as time goes by. But yeah, this is we're going to be able to get crossbowmen pretty quickly, I think, uh, which is just also insane if you think about it. So yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, the first episode of a series, if you like it, um, it can always help the series out even more. So please like if you do like it or dislike if you don't, I suppose that, that also helps, helps me know that you don't like it. Um, but yeah, and also if you haven't subscribed, uh, if you're watching these videos for a while, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate it. But yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.